Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will explain how to check the noise on your scene. Lots of people confuse where the noise comes from, from the lighting or the reflection or from the GI. We can simply add render element like video lighting for video light dome or you, you can use a video light select if you have multiple lights. And we can use a video reflection to check the reflection of your object and very global illumination to check your GI noises. So let's do some random tests. I will lower this subject to 8. Okay, now this one is the result. You can see that there's a lot of noises here. But we don't know yet. This is not from the lighting or the GI or even from the reflection itself. So all we need to do is to check the render element. From, from the video lighting, we can see that there are a lot of noises generated from the video light dome. And let's check to the video reflection. That on the reflection, we can see that we have almost clean reflection so we don't have to worry with the reflection for now and we can check the very global illumination and this one is generated when we use uh, brute force I mean the noise when you use irradiant map the GI will not produce any noise okay let's back to the very lighting I will save this one first And let's add more subdiv like 16 and I will do the cropping here now you can see that we have inner shadow okay let's save this one and let's add more subdiv here okay let's save it again and make some comparison this one is the first one using the subtif 8 the difference is too much let's set the let's compare with the 16 okay now in this area and this one we now having a cleaner uh, shadow we don't have we don't get any noise in this shadow area so now we are having a good subdiv here but you can check the render time it's explode like from 15 to 24 it's like almost 10 seconds let's let's reduce the subdiv to 20 and let's see What we can get from from it. Well, we can see that still have some noise in this area, but it's still acceptable. Comparing with the render time. Okay, guys, that is for this tutorial, and thank you for watching, and see you on the next tutorial.